always remember that there's greatness within you. You are capable of greatness, whether you know it or not, whether you remember it or not. I know when you were a kid, you knew it, but uh, along the lines, I think a lot of people probably convinced themselves that we weren't. And uh, maybe it's because they didn't do it and they like lost faith that they could ever do it. And as we got older, they were like, hey buddy, you know, this is the plan. You know, they let you in on the plan that we were all gonna be losers, right? <laughs> They're like, yeah, dude, we're doing this, right? Dude, fuck that. You don't want that, right? You didn't want that. And you just feel like you keep settling for that because, I don't know, you've been lied to and brainwashed and that's what you think that you deserve. But I'm here to tell you that there is beauty, greatness, and amazing things within you. And you are capable of so much more than you could ever imagine. And if you would just start with believing in yourself and set a bigger goal, a bigger goal than let me get a job and survive. Cause I think that's where a lot of us have just gotten to, you know, and that's where the, hey, we're doing this came in is, hey, we're just gonna survive, right? And I was like, you know, where along the lines did we find that fun? Like when you were growing up, you know, when you were a kid and a teenager, you know, the you were never thinking that you were just gonna get a job and survive. You know, like make enough money to eat and watch TV, you know, and watch the news every day. The, the disgusting news, the disgusting media that's going to spread all this negativity into our lives. Into our, you're just talking about COVID and Russia and all this other crazy nonsense all the time. It's never anything good. It's always something bad. You know, if you guys ever noticed and it's on purpose is they, they want to feed us the fear. They're feeding us, spoon feeding us fear because they know that people will eat it. We will eat it, whether it's healthy for us or, or not. And it's not healthy. It's not healthy at all. And that's why I don't feed into it. I've never fed into it my whole life. I've never fed into the news. I've never, ever been a news watcher. Now, I will, at one point, I was very conscious of what was going on um, because, I, you know, I'm a stock market trader. And I invest. So, you know, it helps my price action, like for me to know what's going on because I can be one step ahead like estimating uh, what people are gonna do based on their emotions, you know? Because if I know that people are afraid of something, then their fear is gonna make them sell and then prices are gonna go down. And so you can make money when the prices go down or up. You just have to be ahead of everybody. If people are about to be afraid, you're gonna be ready to bet that it's going down, right? If you think there's more optimism coming or something just happened, good news, news and announcement, whatever, uh, but that could help, you know? And so it's always nice to be conscious of what's going on, but don't feed into this lie, you know? And don't feed yourself poison, basically. Um, but dude, guys, seriously, you know? You're capable of greatness, you're capable of so much more, and you need to shut off all the noise. Shut off all this negativity, shut off the naysayers and the people who told you to just do what you're doing. And if you're not happy, then good thing you're listening to me. You should be here and please don't leave this page. Please subscribe to the channel and like this video because I'm gonna give you the key to happiness because I searched for it for 10 years and I'm a regular guy, regular, just like you. There's nothing more special about me. I just, I didn't give up. I, I just spent a lot of time fighting for my happiness and not selling into the lie. And so this is a rough road, a long rocky road, and it always pays to uh, get knowledge from somebody who's already doing it, like been through it, because they can give you advice that'll curve how long it takes for you to get there. Instead of it taking you 20 years, it might take you a year, it might take you six months, you know, if you're really diligent and taking in knowledge, the right knowledge and figuring it out, because knowledge is power, and this is where your greatness starts. Your greatness is already within you. That's your talent. But skills combined with talent is what makes greatness, like true mastery. So, and so you've already got your talent. It's already within you. Find what you're talented at and find what you're passionate about, what you really like to do. And then now all you need to do is get the knowledge and practice. Knowledge and practice will make the skills that will combine with that talent. Talent plus skills equals success. This is a simple equation. Talent plus skills equals success. Don't do something that you know you're never ever going to be good at. Don't try to be a math professor when you knew you were terrible at math. You know, passion and talent together. Find something you love and figure that out, guys. Because greatness is within you. I know you can do this. I believe in you. You can... 
to do anything you set your mind to, quite honestly. But uh, that'll take some convincing to get you into that thought. Um, but anyway, dude, don't ever forget that you can do whatever you want. Um, definitely search for your happiness diligently because life is short. You only get one chance at this. You want to do it right. Do it the best way you could possibly do it. You know, I love you guys. I want the best for you. And I know you can do more. We could all do more. We could do more to help each other and help society. I know that's true. But, uh, you know, I'm going to keep this video short. All my other videos so far have been pretty long. I'm going to do a short one right here and uh, just tell you guys that you're amazing and don't sell yourself short. Start today. If today's late, start tomorrow. Wake up early and, and get on the Internet, man, because the Internet is where you're going to find the information that you need. You know, find what you're passionate about. If you want to cut hair, if you want to start a blog, if you want to start a YouTube channel, if you want to start a Shopify store, if you want to sell lingerie, if you want to start your own brand, like, you know, clothing line, whatever. Uh, it starts on the Internet because, um, you know, there's somebody on the Internet, a bunch of people on the Internet, actually, that have already succeeded at what you're trying to do. And all you have to do is go find those right people, usually on YouTube, fish around you know, for the reputable people and start taking in knowledge from multiple reputable people and then take in as much of that knowledge as you can and then combine all that knowledge into one to get your own solid knowledge, your own mindset of what you know is going to be the informational truth that you could believe logically. So that way you can go forward and start your own business and basically copycat what somebody who's successful is doing. You know, if you want to start a mom vlog, we'll go find a mom vlog and copy that because she's successful for a reason and you could do the exact same thing and be successful, honey. I guarantee it. So uh, if you got some value, uh, subscribe to the channel uh, and like the video. I love you guys very much. Stay safe out there and uh, stay great. Love you guys. Take care.